really enjoyed that. The uh, certificate is called a certificate of coverage, not a letter of coverage. The TIF um, to Edna. No, I'm sorry, United Health. United Health Care uh, at their request to show you had coverage with previous insurance. Okay, now pre existing for pre existing questions or reasons. We no longer use the pre-existing clause anymore. Uh, well, when I was working in the insurance industry, we had to use the pre-existing rule to determine if we should pay for a claim or not. Well, here's the thing. Well, mm -hmm. it, still, it still does apply in insurance. They use mm -hmm. a lot of that when they do um, life insurance. Mm -hmm. Your pre-existing conditions do matter. Mm -hmm. you previously had cancer before, more than likely you Okay, but the pre existing rule no longer applies in the health insurance arena. So, for that matter, uh, they have to ask in order to know for uh, what if you're a person that had renal uh, diseases? Okay, maybe you had lupus. Maybe you battle with some sort of arthritis. Anything arthritis, there you go. Anything that may have existed as uh, as a condition prior to this new insurance. Now this new insurance is taking place. You're using United Healthcare. This is your new employer. The claims get sent in to United Healthcare. United Healthcare is going to say, er, before we pay this claim, we need to know. Did you have, and if you had this before, who is your doctor? And if it was your doctor, was you were you covered under a previous insurance plan? Your answer should be what? Yes, I was covered under an insurance plan uh, with Aetna at, at Memorial Hermann Hospital. Here's my certificate of coverage to prove that I had previous coverage and I was treated for diabetes or congestive heart failure or renal disease or lupus under that insurance plan. Does that understand? It transfer, it gives you opportunity to transfer your coverage from one employer to another or from one insurance company to another. Health insurance companies, not, not life insurance, but health insurance companies. Does everybody understand that? It gives you opportunities to transfer and have continuous coverage. That's what Title I is all about, okay? All right, so I explain all that in a nutshell so you can understand how to help explain uh, to patients that may have these kind of questions. You may not remember this. You may not know it uh, by heart. Uh, it's going to take you two to five years to understand and know all this by heart. Okay. I'm not expecting you to be an aficionado. Okay. But you'll know enough how to help them divide, advise them or redirect their questions elsewhere. Does everybody understand that? Okay. Yes, ma'am. What this is only all for if the person was laid off for a little or quiet. What if a person voluntarily leaves? Then, then a rule would apply the same. If you voluntarily leave or resign, that's a good question. Rules would apply the same. Yes, ma'am. It would work the same exact way. Like exiting the job, basically. You know. Like if she say, I don't want to work here no more. I'm giving you my two week notice. My last day is going to be April fifteenth. Be yeah, you're going to be gone from there. So your insurance is going to end April 30th. So you should get a letter in the mail from your employer or from the insurance company to say you've had previous coverage with this type of insurance company. And what if you never did? Uh, so if you never did, but you've been diabetic. Oh, okay. Okay. If you never did have previous coverage at an insurance company. No, no, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Um. When you leave, okay, let's say you voluntarily left your your work, 
should that co- should the insurance company automatically send you a letter of coverage or you have to ask for it? Well, don't, don't, don't. They should automatically send it to you. Okay, so what? Then you need to ask for it. You need to ask for it. And how long are those good for? Until you, a year. You to, oh. It's good for a year. Do you have? Did, 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 are you part of that kind of situation? Yeah, because um, when I got my job at the state school in January, this year, January month. Okay. But because um, the policy told me. Um, because that was a question for Tammy. It had to be within a certain. And then okay. she, she looked on for um, of their um, income base. Right. Right. And does your employer um, as the reform? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so that's a question you want to ask them because sometimes employers will give you a choice to get a cheaper plan through health care reform rather than your traditional. But I got a letter from this, um, from HHS, the state of um, that I can go on. I'll show you. Okay. I can go on online and ask for some a different insurance that could possibly um be cheaper from for me to the get. Huh? Through the healthcare market. Probably Obamacare. Right. So what, what she said, I can go on the website and see if I can still qualify for one of those um Exactly, that's all I was saying. It's through the marketplace. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's it. Yeah, same thing. But um, I don't know. But she said I couldn't qualify. I, I did. My kids have the Medicare or whatever they call it for the, for the kids. But I I can't get on it because I make too much. I make a hundred dollars. I make too much money. Oh, okay. what the salary yeah. requires. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, that sounds like marketplace that they've given you an alternative to look into uh, for coverage. And you probably can get on uh, their thing, their insurance plans. And it's pretty. But, um, be careful, y'all. If y'all cannot have marketplace and Medicaid at the same time, I, have, I went through that. Okay. It is illegal of what, you know, of what the, of what the, so like PPO for three people would be like three hundred dollars now for one is six. Out that LaRonda is talking about. Do you have a, a person to sign up with or sign through? Okay. For, for marketplace insurance to understand. Okay. To I, was, I was thinking of because there's a commercial on TV where you get like um insurance and dental and all Those are, um actually be careful with some of the marketplace plans because I ended up having um, some of them do not cover dental and medical. You may have to get two different insurances. So be very careful. Make sure you ask a lot of questions because I ended up having to get dental care. I'm fixing to uh, get in touch with one of my church friends uh, that that sells it. And because uh, I thought I would um, I would qualify for the. Medicaid for the medical for the state because um I was in the hospital in January. Yeah. Give no, me no, just no. a minute. February. So I was hospitalized in February. Because it says that we have medical bills in the last three to six months or something like that. To put it down and I did. But still. Maybe still maybe somebody just like it could be human error. I would try yeah, again. Yeah. Just I did. I went twice. Oh. Uh, where, where, where did you go? Go where? To what? Um, to for the to talk to somebody or to the to the office to the health office. You went oh, to the Medicaid right. office. Okay. No, to the H H uh, to the welfare office. Oh, okay. Yeah, like. Yeah. To be honest with you, I noticed a lot of them don't know what they're talking about. But yeah. I think we're going to a little bit on how we sit. Like, I actually drove, I drive to Russell because of where I live at. Because all the other ones are closer. 
Rosenberg is 20 miles from my house on that's why they did me like that. I think it's just because I'm on the outskirts of Twenty Fourth and Harris County. So um, some of some of these people, even at the workforce, you have to and I'll let you know, okay? Okay, so let's move on to Title II, Administrative Simplification. Administrative Simplification are the goals of Title II. Administrative Simplification focus on healthcare practice setting and aim to reduce have development and implement standardization of electronic transactions, and you have implementation of privacy and security. So in other words, make sure when you do send the billing process over that you are careful about what you send over uh, the system. Uh, make sure that the system has a good firewall to it because you have a lot of uh, folks who are hacking into software systems to uh, pirate people of information so that they can, um, what do you call that? Ask for, not bribes, but ask for money, ransom. Mm -hmm. You know, they want to withhold patient information. Okay. All right. So let's talk about privacy. I'm on this page here of chapter two. So I'm on this page here, chapter two. Privacy is the condition of being secluded from the presence or view of others. Confidentiality is using discretion and keeping secret information. So there's a difference between privacy and visions of access to or divulging in any other manner of information outside the entity holding the information. Consent. Consent is the verbal or written agreement that gives approval to some action situation or statement. So there's two different types of consent. Okay, so implied consent. Implied consent is assumption without nope. express consent is being foretold or warned about care prior to your agreement. Now, let me give an example. Implied consent. Implied consent can happen in such a situation uh, where, God forbid, a person okay? And they were brought to the emergency room through an ambulance on a stretcher. Does everybody understand? And they're unconscious. They're unaware of what's going on. Maybe at some point during the accident or so, they have found the person's ID. And so now they got some sort of idea of who the person is. And they may say, you know, they got a, 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 a stab wound and a fractured leg from running from this person. We just made up a situation. And they're unconscious, okay? Do you think that person, do you think the doctors and the nurses are going to wake that person up to get their permission to care for them? No, no, no. no. Okay. That's where it blankets under implied. Okay. It blankets under implied. Okay. Because uh, the doctors have to do no harm to the pain. Okay. Once they sustain that life, they got that person under medication. The legs are, the leg is patched up from being fractured uh, and um, the stab wound has been repaired. There are no more gushing out blood. They've gotten uh, maybe four pints of blood restored because they've lost a lot of blood during the time. Now the person is conscious and he's waking up, the patient's waking up and he's saying, where am I? And the nurse is going to say, you in the hospital, you in St. John's Hospital. OK, uh, and they're going to say, we understand that you are blah, blah, blah. Yes. How did you know? We found your ID. Da, 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 da. 
Do you think there's coverage that you have before they treat them? No. No. When they check your eyes, oh, my suggestion, I can anything carried with you anybody. <laughs> Yeah, but maybe uh, maybe right. suppose they didn't know or a bracelet, right. a medical brass legitimate. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Exactly. But now my point is uh is that once once a person comes to consciousness, then uh, when I went to the hospital when I was a neighbor, um, mm -hmm. then, um but um I was allergic to anything. They just they will find out. I mean, if like did you have your daughter at? Um, Southwest. Um, More Herman. Okay, so you went there because it was the closest house vaginal birth. Okay, so did you? Uh, did they give you any kind of medicines? Did they do an epidural? Did they, they do permission to be given on behalf? No, you were by yourself. Yeah. Okay, you were by yourself. Okay, that's fine. So what they Back. Now, again, under that law where it says do no harm, that's under for, for they would have had or something available to counter. Trust me, if you were and you show signs and symptoms of allergies, they would give you some sort of EpiPen uh, type ingredient to help counteract that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember you saying that. It over. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they didn't send it over, but they weren't able to tie. My, uh, was it was it a different physician that delivered your baby outside of uh, uh, Bentov, yeah. the physician that you normally go to? Was uh, which what, I don't understand because Bentov uh, mm -hmm. delivered my baby anyway. Mm -hmm. But I had signed some papers at Bentov for me to. Already had that done yeah. by your OBGYN, yeah. right? But did your OBGYN come? Your OBGYN was told in time, and she or him, yeah. it's like a dentist to fix back here, right? I had to get a new a new crown back here, well, a temporary crown back here because mine cracked, cracked off the other day. But my point is to another dentist. And say, you know what? I don't like this dentist over here. He put temporary crown on here. Could you give me a crown? No, because that previous dentist has already started the work of putting that temporary crown in. So that new dentist is not going to go behind somebody's work that already got started. Because what if he messes up somebody else's work? I'm a, I'm liable to sue him, not him. So he's going to read for um, Southwest Memorial to get they don't have um, access to your kids there's something called that here can as everything because they don't have the care plan they can but more herman has uh, uh treated me many times that different different memorial but it's still late because when they go through the pregnancy mm -hmm. yeah all of them or that one the only time I go to the hospital is when, um, no, emergency. no, I'm talking about the one that you had to go there for an emergency. Yeah, that's, um, Southwest, uh, okay. But did you go to Memorial Herman. Herman the whole time? No, okay, that's what she's trying so to say. They what to do. They're just gonna deal with the situation they have at hand. Well, they need an idea. They need something, an idea of who you are and what all you've mm -hmm. been through. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to do the tubification. Oh, no, it's not cold it's blooded. Not it's co everything is liability. It's every liable. hospital. Yeah. Called. Every every well, they hospital. Should, they should have took me to my hospital. But it's an emergency they're situation, yeah. sweetie. That's right. They don't want to take that chance, sweetie, traveling, transporting you from to the med center. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a drive. Yeah, do you understand what I'm saying? And I know, I know, I I understand you're disgruntled. And and you you wanted them to do that, and you could have still went back and had your tubal ligation done, even if it was six weeks after your baby. You could have still got that done, because it still falls under that global pack. 
Yes, ma'am. But you can't get mad at the. Let me tell you something, sweetie. I know. Hospitals, doctors' offices, ambulatory surgical care centers, they have attorneys. And if their attorneys work their salt, they're going to give their best advice. It's already enough physicians pay enough for malpractice insurance. Why would you want to use your malpractice insurance when you know not to do that? It's enough. God forbid they deliver your baby and something happens at that moment at their hands. That's one thing. But to do work behind another physician that already been with you the whole so you got to go back to him. That's what they needed for so they could they needed it that so they could have data and record on file. That you came, that you were there. Every everything, every paper trail has its reasons to cover them. CYA, you're exactly right. But they CYA. Didn't get that information from oh, they got it. It just took a while. <laughs> slow. They just slow. Well, they got it. And if they don't have it, then that 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 director so of medical records. The, uh, how did they know was a nurse? Yeah, that's that's why. Now, if now that you um, and plus, you also said, now, did you have your other two daughters at Memorial Herman before? Uh, yeah, but it wasn't, um, it was Memorial Herman, but it wasn't, it was a different location. One was in did, uh, you were still part of the yeah. system. Yeah. You were still part of the system. Yeah. So yeah. since yeah. you were yeah. already part of the system, then you have some sort of previous health history yeah. with your other two daughters. See, that's let like, me explain. It's like in the final paperwork when you first. At Bentall. Then their hands were tied. Now, if you had all your care with your daughter at Memorial Herman Health System, like you did your first two daughters, then yeah. I did have her there at the Memorial Herman. But you didn't have your whole nine months of care. Your doctor is not privileged there. Is your doctor privileged there? Okay, then no. But my second, um, for my second child, um, I gave birth to Lamar Herman, but uh, through my whole pregnancy, I didn't know I was pregnant. Okay. So I haven't had no uh, um, care. Care. It happens. It, uh, my ninth one. Hmm? Oh wow! Are you serious? That happened to my well, that does happen. Really? Okay. That's what I was. Uh, no pain, nothing. Uh, she came out. Um, Seven pounds and twelve ounces. Oh wow! You know what? You didn't lose didn't weight. Like, you didn't notice any signs or symptoms. No, like I was um, because I used to drink back then. So when I was throwing up, I just thought maybe it was probably the alcohol. But I came with my cycles. Every yeah, that happens. Really? Everything. Yeah, so happens. I, yeah. Well, that was good. That was a miracle. Yeah. That was a miracle. That is a yeah. <laughs> then that's something different, sweetie. Again, yeah. if because yeah. you didn't have previous prenatal care with a physician there, then that speaks something different. Then they have to document that in the soap notes that patient did not know she was pregnant until yeah. now. That's a whole different okay. documentation. Yeah. Was this your first baby or your second baby? My second baby? Okay, so they already had previous history of you with your first baby. Okay, now at the same system, and you, 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 you've been through all the care with your first baby with Mamar Herman. So it was easy for you to go back to Mamar Herman again for your second baby, but just by oops of a circumstance. Yeah. So they can't treat you and care for you because you were previously there. Okay. But since you were coherent about this third one, and you were going through Ben Paul, and then all of a sudden, oops, I'm in a situation, and I can't get to Ben Todd because I'm over here on this side of town. Did the ambulance carry you, or who carried you? Ambulance carry you. So common sense, they're going to choose. Yeah, I had just passed uh, Ben Todd because I was on the, uh, on the bus, and I just got off uh, uh, right at that, uh, that subway to uh, use the bathroom and get some meat. And I was going to have a contraction, but my contractions, you know how when they say um, if it's every three minutes or every, you know how you can uh, detect. Uh, and uh, she told me to come in. So I'm thinking when I called 911 that they were going to take me to oh, bed talk. No. Uh, now, if you had a present, they yeah, they're gonna take you to the closest yeah. hospital. Now, in my circumstance, I was in a bad auto accident at Fifth Ward. Okay, insurance. So I was 
pretty much astute on insurance and higher work and coverages and stuff. So when I heard the ambulance saying, oh, we just going to take her up the street to LBJ. I rose up with my neck and I said, no, you're not. You're going to take me to St. Luke's. Because I knew if they take me to LBJ, I was going to sit there unless I was a, a shot victim. Uh, and I wasn't hurt terribly bad in the auto accident. But other than that, I was just going to sit there. So I knew I had insurance and I was conscious enough that if I was on the express. I was conscious enough to say, you need to take me. And they, they took me to, to St. Luke's from Fifth Ward. And you could have said that if you wanted to. But and they probably would have done far. that. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't that far from St. Luke's. I wasn't that far from the men's center. But my point is they probably would have could have sustained you till they got you to Ben Top. Yeah. So I always know this, um, ladies, you all have right. <laughs> and it's at the discretion of the EMT. You have a right to say where you want to go. But now if they feel that your emergency is a bit too much to travel, they all right, so let it go. <laughs> yeah, right. You understand now. But I know you feel like, doggone it, I'm going to sue the hospital because <laughs> they didn't do what I said do. And doggone it, I'm vulnerable right now because I don't need a fourth. I understand. Don't get mad. Yeah. Just go back to the... Especially when you eight don't months, months, but, still, but still, like, she came a little early. And then I was trying to... Um, they didn't want to... Um, I don't understand why the OGY is. They don't want to take me. Mm-hmm. What do you me mean they don't want to take you? Because they said I was uh, too far along. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. And they don't like, well, just come on for my second child. They be like, just come on for my second child. They be like, just come on for my second child. They be like, just come on for my second child. They be like, just come on for my second child. They be like, just come on for my second child. They be like, just come on for my second child. They be like, just come on for my second child. They be like, just come on for my Okay, you guys. So we're going to wrap up chapter uh, two and three tomorrow. It's going to take a minute to wrap up these chapters. So I enjoyed y'all today. Y'all have a beautiful day and I'll see y'all on tomorrow. Do y'all have any questions for me for your homework assignments? Um, you all will yes, get... That packet is our homework assignment, right? Your, that packet is your homework assignment. All chapters one through five. You'll get a chapter five next week, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on next Tuesday. So do I, so do I turn you in? You turn them in the last day of June. You have until June to finish all that. Oh, and I'm going to show you what it's showing on my own. Watch, it's just going to turn, but it's not going to, it's not going to pop up. Yeah.